So in the first video, we went over what is torsal rotation and why it matters. Now we're gonna go over how to assess it on your own to see if you can do this, all right? Or if this is something you need to add into your workout program or into your warm up to help you improve with that dissociation or your ability to move your upper body from your lower body, all right? So to do this test, you're going to get in a five iron posture. So that is just a golf posture. And this is a Titleist Performance Institute test as well um, from TPI. And what you're gonna do here is you're gonna try to move your upper body side to side without your hips moving at all, all right? So you need to record yourself from the side angle, from the front angle, and do this, or have someone watch when you do it, all right? After you do the test, can you, and you can, you'll see if you can do this or not. If you can do that without moving, you pass, move on. Good job. It's not something you have to work on too much. Again, this is assessing our ability to dissociate, not how much we have. There's other videos I'll show you how to assess if you have a lot of, enough thoracic rotation or what we like in thoracic rotation, okay? Um, so if you can't do that, if you start seeing yourself, and a fail on this would be, when I start doing it, I start moving my hips, I start moving my upper body forward and backwards, I start shifting, because I can't connect and make my brain and my muscles work separately in my upper body and my lower body, then we're gonna move on to the next test, all right? So normally for this, I would come in, if I was there, and I would hold your hips. Well, you don't have that luxury, unless you have someone around that can do it for you. Someone comes in and all they do, they put their hands on your hips, hold the, your hips in place and then you try the exercise. If you have no one around, what you'll do is try to come up and just kind of lean your butt against something that's solid, okay? Now I try to create a little stability by kind of pushing in, locking into that, and then I would do the same exercise while I'm kind of pushed up against something, all right? That might help stabilize your hips, act like the hands of someone coming in. If you then are able to do it, what we would say is you have a stability problem. When we add stability in, you have the ability to do it. If you still can't do the exercise, we'd call that a mobility problem, and that's something we really need to ingrain into our workout program to try to get that thoracic rotation, that dissociation, so you don't have the common swing faults that come with it, all right? So that is the simple assessment. You get in it, do it. Can you, if you can't do it, stabilize, try it, all right? And if you can't do it either, something you wanna probably work on. If you could only do it with it against this, still something you wanna work on. Um, a stability problem with that, all right? Now, I'm gonna go into a third video that's gonna go over different exercises you can do to try to improve your ability to dissociate your thoracic rotation from your pelvis, all right? So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this information useful or helpful, please subscribe to this channel. Just drag that mouse right over to the red box, click it so that you're notified the next time that I post a video. Again, thank you so much.